Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli and today our topic is how to send specific emails to Slack channel. So here I'm a business owner and I'm receiving a lot of emails on my Gmail account. Here I only want to send some specific emails on my Slack channel where I have my finance team and I want to send the emails that is related to the invoices or billing details. So here for doing this what I need to do is I need to first forward all the emails from my Gmail account to Pabli Connect by using email password and after forwarding those email I'm going to filter out those email by using some keywords and after filtering out those email I'm going to send the specific emails on my Slack channel where I have my finance team. So here for my objective what I need to do is I need to build a connection between email parser and Slack. So for building this connection I'm going to use Pabli Connect which is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now with Pabli Connect, as I'm going to receive a new email, then automatically I'm going to send that email to my Slack channel with the specific details. So how I'm going to build this connection? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see that how we can send some specific emails to Slack channel. So I'm a business owner and I'm receiving a numerous emails on my Gmail account. But here only certain emails those containing invoices need to be shared with my finance team or accounts team. But manually forwarding these emails to my team or notifying them could be time consuming. And to streamline this I want to automate the process of identifying emails related to the invoices and sending them directly to a dedicated Slack channel where my team can view and manage them efficiently. So with the help of Pabli Connect, I can set up this automation that filters incoming Gmail email based on some specific keywords like the invoices, billing or payment and send a notification with the relevant details to a Slack channel. This will ensure my finance team to act promptly. Now this will allow my team to instantly be aware of the new invoices, process them efficiently and ensure timely payment. Also if I'm receiving some payments or the billing details, even those emails I'm going to share on my Slack channel. So here for doing this what I need to do is I need to build a connection between Gmail and here in Gmail what I need to do is I need to forward all the emails that I'm going to receive here to Pabli Connect. So for forwarding the emails to Pabli Connect I need to use email parser. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this connection between Gmail and Slack. Now for doing this what I need to do is I need to use Pabli Connect and I can build this connection with, without any coding and programming skills. So here for using Pabli Connect I need to open a new tab and I'm going to search for pabli.com slash connect in my browser and this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Now here in the landing page I have these two options of sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pabli Connect then we can just click on the sign up for free button and this will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. So here what I need to do is I need to click on this access now button under Pabli Connect and it will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here in the dashboard what I need to do is I need to create a new workflow and for that I'm going to click on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow so I'm going to name it as my objective which is to Send specific emails to Slack channel. Now what I need to do is I need to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and here I will find all the folders that I have in my Pabli Connect account and I'm going to use this particular folder of Gmail. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here in this window I have these two boxes of trigger and action. So trigger and action are the two main principles on which our workflow works on and trigger says when this happens action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action is just going to follow that. So here in our workflow I need to first set up my trigger and in our workflow we can only set up single trigger step and multiple action step. So here for setting up my trigger I need to first search for my trigger application and here in my trigger what I'm going to do is I'm going to forward all the emails that I'm going to receive on my Gmail account to Pabli Connect. So for that I need to use email parser. So I'm going to select email parser as my trigger application. So I'm going to select this. Now I have to give my trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab. A new email will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. 
and now I'm going to connect email parser with public connect in my workflow and for that I'm going to use this forwarding email. So here I need to connect email parser with public connect and for that I need to first copy this email and now I'm going to take you to my gmail account and here in gmail I need to first go to settings and in settings I will click on see all settings button. Now here I need to go to forwarding and pop slash imap button and in this what I need to do is I need to add a new forwarding address. So I'm going to click on this add a forwarding address button and now here I need to add the email address that I've copied from Pabli Connect. So I'm going to paste that here and now as I've added that in this tab I need to click on next. Now here I need to confirm that this is my forwarding email so I'm going to click on proceed and here I have added my forwarding email and a confirmation link has been sent to this email. So here I'm just going to click on OK. I will go back to Public Connect and here we can see I have received this response. So this is my response and this is the response of my confirmation email and in this what I need to do is I need to just scroll down and here I have this tab of body text. So in this body text I have received the confirmation email and in that email I have received a link by which I can confirm that I want to use this email address as my forwarding email. So I'm going to expand this tab. I'm going to scroll down in this email and here this is my confirmation link. So I'm going to copy this, open that in a new tab and here I need to click on confirm. So I'm going to do that and here my confirmation has been success. Now what I need to do is I need to take you back to Gmail and here I'm going to refresh this page and here we can see I have successfully added my forwarding email and here I need to enable this option of forward a copy of incoming email to this email that is my forwarding email and now what I need to do is I need to scroll down and I need to click on save changes. Now here I have successfully added my forwarding email now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect. And here what I need to do is I need to click on this recapture email parcel response button. I'm going to click on yes. And here as I'm going to receive a new email in my Gmail account then it will automatically forward that email here in Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to wait for a new email to come on my Gmail account. So I'm going to go back to Gmail. Now here on Gmail we can see I have received this new email and it was sent to me by Anshul Sahu. So I'm going to open this email. And here this is my email that has the email subject that named as invoice payment confirmation and this is my invoice number. Also in this I have this email and I have this amount of 1,25,000 rupees. I have the payment method, invoice number, payment date and all these other detail and my name that is demo user. Also in this email I have this attachment of my invoice. Now as I have received this email in Gmail what should happen is that automatically this email should be get forwarded in Pabli Connect. So I'm going to take you to Public Connect and here we can see I have received this response. So in this response I have all the detail of the email that I've just received on my Gmail account and that email has been forwarded to Public Connect. So here I have the email address to which I have received the email and I have the email subject that is invoice payment confirmation and I have my invoice number. Also here I have all the other details so I'm going to scroll down. Here I have all these other details like the email address from which I have received the email also I have the name of my sender that is Anshul Sahu. This is the email address and I have the body text. So in this body text I have the email detail that I have received and this is my email content. Also here I have received this attachment link. So this is the attachment link of the invoice that I have received through my email. Now here as we can see I have received all the detail of my email and I have forwarded that email here in Pabli Connect. Now here as this is a specific email with the invoice detail and now what I want to do is that as this is a specific email I want to share this with my finance team on my Slack channel. So for that what I need to do is I need to use the email subject that I've received here and here this is the email subject that contains this specific word that is invoice. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some specific keywords from my email subject and if those specific keywords are present in the email subject then it will mean that this is my specific email that I want to send on my Slack channel. So here what I need to do is I need to first filter out my emails that I'm going to receive through Gmail and for filtering out the emails what I need to do is I need to set up my actions tab. So for setting up my actions tab I need to open this tab and here I need to use filter by Pabli. So I'm going to select filter by Pabli as my action application and now I have to give my action event so I'm going to open this tab and filter values will be my action event so I'm going to select this 
And now I need to connect filter by Pabli with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on connect. Now here I need to set up my filter and I need to set up my condition. Now here for setting up my filter, I need to first select my label, filter type and the value. So here in the label, I'm going to use my email subject that I'm going to receive from my email. And in the email subject, if I'm going to receive some specific keywords that I'm going to add in the value, then it will mean that this is my specific email that I can send on my Slack channel. So here for setting up my condition, I need to first select my label. So I'm going to open this tab and here in my email parser response, I'm going to search for the subject of my email. And here, this is the email subject. So I'm going to map this. So this is always going to be my label. And now I need to give my filter type. So I'm going to open this tab and here I'm going to use filter type as contains. So I'm going to select this and in the value, I'm going to give my first keyword that is invoice. So if I'm getting this specific keyword in my email subject, then it will mean this is my specific email. And also I'm going to add some more specific keywords. So for adding more conditions or more filters, what I need to do is I need to click on this or condition button. And here again, I'm going to use the same label of subject and I'm going to add my keywords. So I'm going to first select my label. Now I'm going to give my filter type that will be contains. And here my second keyword is going to be payment. And similarly, I'm going to add my third keyword. So here I've added my filter and I have added all the keywords that I can receive for my specific email in my email subject. And these are my keywords that is invoice, payment and billing. And you can also add multiple keywords and you can also set up this filter on your condition. Now I have added all the keywords. So what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received the status that is of success and the message is condition is true. So this means that I am receiving my email subject with any of these keywords and this confirms that I am receiving this keyword in my email subject. So this means that that email is my specific email and I can share that automatically on my Slack channel with my finance team. Now here what I need to do is I need to add my last action step. And here my action application is going to be Slack. So I'm going to search for that and now I'm going to select Slack. Now I have to give my action event. So I'm going to open this tab and send channel message will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect Slack with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection and now I'm going to click on connect with Slack. Now here for connecting Slack with Pabli Connect, I need to give my token type. So here my token type is either going to be user or bot. So I'm going to type user here. So this is my token type and I can click on save. Now I'm going to scroll down and I need to click on allow to give access to my account. And here I have successfully connected Slack with Pabli Connect in my workflow. Now what I need to do is I need to scroll down and for sending the message on my Slack channel, I need to first select my channel. So here I'm going to select the channel on which I want to send my email or I want to share my email with my finance team. So for the channel, I'm going to take you to Slack. And here in Slack, I'm using this channel of Pabli Finance Team. And in this channel, I have the member of all my finance team. Now what I need to do is I need to take you back to Pabli Connect. And for selecting my channel, I need to open this tab. And here in this tab, I will find all the channels that I have on my Slack account. And here I'm going to search for my channel of Pabli Finance Team. So I'm going to select that as my channel. And now what I need to do is I need to give the message that I want to send with all the detail of my email that I've received on my Gmail account. So here my message will be new email received. And in this message, I'm going to add the detail of my sender. I'm going to add my email subject. I'm going to give the email content and the attachment link if I'm receiving any. Now here, this is going to be my message that I'm going to share with my finance team. Now in this message, what I need to do is I need to add the detail of my email that I've received through Gmail. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the detail of my response that I've received through email parser. And now for using my email parser response, I need to use mapping. So what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I need to click here. I will give a space and here I need to give my from email. So I'm going to search for that in this response. And here this is my sender name and the sender email. So I'm going to map both of them. So I'm going to first map the sender name. I will give a space and I'm going to map the sender email. Now I'm going to give the subject of my email. So I'm going to search for that. So this is the subject. I'm going to map this. 
Now I have to give the message preview or the content of my message. So I'm going to click here. I will give a space. I'm going to search for the content body or the email body. And here this is my body text. So I'm going to map this. And now I'm going to map the attachment link. I have mapped all the required details. And as I have mapped these details, I have made all these details dynamic. Now what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive a new specific email from Gmail and I'm going to forward that by using email parser and I'm going to receive the new email response, then automatically all these details that I mapped here are going to get replaced with the new email detail in the real time. So every time I'm going to receive a new email response, then all these details are going to get replaced and I'm going to send the new email detail to my finance team on Slack. Now what I need to do is I need to scroll down and I need to click on save and send test to good button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have sent a message automatically on my Slack channel. And with that message, I've shared the specific email that I have received on my Gmail account and I've shared that with my finance team on Slack. So to check whether I've shared this message on Slack or not, I'm going to take you to Slack. And here on Slack, we can see I have received this new message and here the message is new email received. So this is my message and in this message, I have added the details like the from or the sender details. So this is the name of my sender and the email address. Also, I have added the subject detail of my email. So here at the subject is invoice payment confirmation. This is my invoice number and this is the content of my email. Also in this, I have added the attachment link which my sender has attached with my email. And in this attachment link, I have my invoice. So here we can see I've shared this email automatically on my Slack channel and I've shared this with my finance team. So this was my specific email that I want to share with my finance team on Slack and I've shared that automatically by sending a message on Slack. So here what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive new emails on my Gmail account, then automatically it will forward all those emails to Public Connect. And after forwarding those emails by using email parser, it is going to filter out the email that contains some specific keywords that are related to invoices, billing or payments. And as I'm going to receive those keywords, then it will mean these are my specific emails. And after filtering out those emails, I can share that with my finance team on Slack. So here I've successfully created this automation between Gmail and Slack. And I have done this with the help of Pabli Connect. So with public and I have created this automation between email parser and Slack to automatically share specific emails on Slack. Now let me take you back to public connect. And here I've created this connection between email parser and Slack to automatically send specific emails to Slack channel. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I've set up my trigger and in my trigger, I have used email parser by Pabli to forward all the emails from my Gmail account to Pabli connect. Now after using email parser, I have set up a filter and in my filter, I've used some specific keywords and by those keywords, I'm going to specify my email. And after setting up my filter, I have set up my last section step where I have used Slack and here I have used Slack to send channel message. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate pabli.com. And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.